Hi everyone. Today <coughs> we are going to start to uh, make up examples about the, our previous lessons. Okay, time uh, domain analysis and the Laplace domain analysis, and uh, we will learn about how we can define the transfer function in system dynamics, but uh, using the MATLAB. Okay, and so firstly we need to give the comment line in here. And so the example one is related to the differential equation to Laplace domain and inverse Laplace transform. Okay. First of all, so we need to give this phrase in order to clear the whole the data, close all the figure, and see as it should be given in here. Okay. So <coughs> this is the weak. MATLAB code okay that's the name of this code so in order to define the symbolic or differential equation we need to give the what the yt this means that the yt t is the parameter of the dependent variable in here just like this one and so the r variable is dependent of the time at this case okay and so we should Define the order. This are the special name uh, for the variable. <coughs> we can use also the chami, but we should use the order in here. And so the div is the operator to what to take a derivative of the these terms. For example, y with respect to the t. And so this results. This gives us to what the dy divided by dt, and plus to y can be assigned in here with the equalization of the water sin t okay and so this equation is given with the what with this nomination and so y dot plus two times y is equals to the water sinus t okay these are the odt function okay and so <coughs> In order to solve this, just remember the lesson. We need to give the initial condition. Y0 is equal to the 0. Okay? And so, after that, we can solve this equation. Y sol t can be assigned with the, what, the differential solver. This sol is a function. And so, we need to provide the OD and the standard condition. Okay? And then, <coughs> if I run this code... <coughs> we will have the sum solution from this variable okay in order to easily analyze this code and so the y sol is equalized the simplified version of it okay y sol this simplifies the equation in order to the more readable and understandable form okay and so y sol is assigned in here just like this one and then <coughs> We can use the pretty function y sol in here, okay? And so if I rerun this code, the r solution is equal to what the exponential minus two times t divided by five minus sqrt blah blah blah. This are the solution, okay? So how we can plot this data in here? <coughs> F plot is a function plot in the what? in meta programming language and y sol is our equation in here just like this one and so after that we need to give the interval of these values from the 0 to 10 okay this is the solution and after that we need to give the x label is the time sec okay and uh, otherwise the y label is the what y label y t okay and so if i run this code and then we will have the what the solution of the water y t signal this is equals to the water this one okay and so if i rerun this code with the different initial condition just like this one <coughs> to five <coughs> and so in the five this equation started with the what with the five values in here just like this one but if we set the different values y1 in here and so just see that in the one our solution 
is equals to the what is equals to the five is equals to the this one okay and so how we can use this equation in here and so this is how we can handle the whole the equations in here see so and this is important because if we have any notation about the this forms and so we can assign the different values of the what the initial conditions or assign the different equation of motion or the equations in here to be solved in the MATLAB program okay also we can set the what the zero in here this the zero and so <coughs> this equals to the one and we can create a nonlinear form of this equation just like this one <coughs> and so the r solution cannot be solved in here in the differential form because maybe there is no solution for this integral form of these terms okay and so by using the method we can easily solve these equations based on these emulations okay so this is the first example about the what about the r matlab session you can solve any nonlinear or linear form of the equation by using to these terms okay and in the second simulation the simulate system responses and arbitrary input using lsim okay in the matlab we have the some specialized function <coughs> <coughs> to analyze the R system <coughs> for example in order to define the transfer function we can use the num dan parameters in here just like this one num dan 1 2 2 okay and so the G is equal to what the TF the numerator and denominator can be given just like this one and so we can create the what the Laplace transformation of any given system based on the what the transfer function domain in here for example if I choose the run this code and then we will have one divided by s square plus 2 s plus 2 okay and so we have two time constant in here but in the form of what the coefficients of the this system characteristic equation okay and so we can easily define the this system based on these informations and after that we can create the timeline for this parameter by using the lin space okay and so we can give the 0 to 10 with the division rate of the 1000 which means that we can split the 0 to 10 or the 10 seconds into the what the 1000 points in here and after that we can create the what the input values of these terms three times t okay and so we have the special function to be apply the what the this input on to what to this transfer function or laplace domain system which means that y and t out is r <coughs> output and lsim is a function okay and so we need to give what the g transfer function or the r system parameter u input and the t is a timeline okay and so if we run this code and then this lsim generates the what the r output time response for a given the what the g or the plant system under the what under the this applied u values okay and so how we can analyze this signal the figure given in here the subplot should be created in here 211 which means that we have two rows and the one column values this is the index of the set value okay and so the plot t u firstly should be given or drawing in just like this one and after that <coughs> this is the what title what be given in here this is the what the input signal okay and so the input signal ut is equals to the what the cos 3t okay and x label that so we don't need to give the x label but the y label is the what the input signal okay so the read on should be given in here in the second case we can create the what 2 1 1 and 2 should be given in here okay and so the plot t out should be given and after that the y this is the what the r time response data right and so the title 
system output yt okay and the x table should be given here the time sec and y label is the what the amplitude okay and so if i run this code and then we will have the what the three results in here oh no i'm sorry we have two results first of all the input signal is the what the cost three times t signal which is given in here just like this one okay and so <coughs> the otherwise uh, that we have at second place is the what the time response of the rgs system it's useful to use the what the dissimulation technique because for example if i choose the what the changing the system two three and four okay and so this is equals to the what this system s over three two times s over two plus three s plus four these are the characteristic equation okay and also we can change the what in the numerator or the zeros of the this system and after that our response is changed and so this is so easy to test our transfer function or the design parameters for a given the system dynamic model okay and so if we use this case and then we will apply the different inputs to what to this transfer function and so we can easily analyze and evaluate the performance of the yt okay this is so important for the what for analyze to what to system dynamic formulations okay in the third case, <coughs> we will have the some other important properties or the functions for the what <coughs> time response analysis. Okay. So, just like the previous code, we can define the new values in here, just like this one five. Okay. And so denominator can be defined with what the convolution operator just like this one one and one and one and four which means that this is the what the multiplication of the what the s plus one s plus four okay this are the basic solution and so we can define the what the gtf the num and then can be given just like this one okay and so s square plus 5 s plus 4 is given at this moment okay but otherwise we can define the another formulation for this one for example we can define to what one five four this is the same okay just see that this is the same okay and so we have in the MATLAB with some uh, specific functions the figure the step G step is the ap application or the applied the water step input or the unit constant values to this what to this systems okay and so if you do that the X label is utilized with the what the time sec okay and y label is the what the amplitude or the output rate of the what the R system y t for example and so if i run this code and then we will have the what the output results of the what the R systems okay mm, i'm sorry and so if we rerun this code and then we will have to what to these results so this means that we have the 5 divided by s square plus 5s plus 4 system in a transfer function domain gives us or generate us to what to this output with respect to the what or apply to the what the unit step signals in here just like this one okay and so this is so important because in the step function we have the sum useful information or the useful property to utilize or the <clears throat> to show the our system characteristics first of all we need to talk about the what the characteristics states or the space in here for example if we want to learn about the what the transient time of this system and so we can set the, this one and this code gives us to what the transient time automatically 
it calculates and then it gives us to what this result for example if we choose the what the steady state values of the these terms this is equal to what the one dot 24 and so we can easily analyze what the time response or the time characteristics based on the what the utilization of the step function in here for example if you want to learn about the rise time <coughs> and so the rise time is equal to what the 2 dot 31 <coughs> okay and so besides from the this nomination and then we will give the what the 2 1 2 see this is so simple we can update the, these figures based on the these characteristics and so we can see that the, these values equals is equals to what to this one or we can assign the what the one nine one okay or we can assign to what the one nine 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 okay see these are the response to what to our system or we can assign to one two nine and so what we have the water oscillation signal in here but we can easily analyze the disk code based on the water based on the our calculations or previously we can analyze the signal and then we will design the water controller estimator or the some other parameters based on the disinformations for example if i choose the what the characteristic the peak response represents to the what to this one so this signal is the is had overshoot values of the 32 percent of this signal at the time of the water 1.11 or this signal reached the steady state values of the water which is called the setting time 3.7 and so we can design the new system based on the water based on these properties okay <coughs> so the step function is the important to what to analyze our system dynamic model okay so previously so, so we can also analyze what there are another properties in here for example we can obtain the what the poles and zeros by utilizing what the ps map function in here just like this one okay and so if i run this code and then we will have the water two roots in here just like this one minus one minus one and so we don't have the any zeros in here because we have the constant values in here with the five right but we, if we add the water one values in here and so we will have these values but the zeros minus zero two minus one minus one and we have the imaginary part of this term right and so five comma one is five s plus one divided by s square two s nine should be multiplied or should be given in here okay and so these are the case but we can we can also draw the these poles and the what <coughs> zeros values just like this one the grid on can be given in here and then see this blue line is the what is the zero values okay these are the zeros but what is our to what are poles in here see this is zeros and so this is minus one this is minus one and so this is zeros right pole minus one two dot eight three two dot h three and so we have also about the zeros values in here and so we can easily analyze this sum or we can obtain the information from the what from the transfer function based on the these methods okay so in second place we need to talk about the partial function what is partial function just remember the our previous lesson we can define the what the system just like this one s and t and so s f can be defined with what the s plus six divided by s square two plus five s plus six 
okay and so in order to solve this problem we need to create what are two values in here we need to divide into the time constant s plus a times s plus b this is the general solution for the what for this utilization but in matlab we have the special properties the for the function part frac function just like this one and so f based on the s gives us to what to this partial fraction form of these terms okay and so if we run this code and then oh we can should be give the what the pretty f p f can be given and so this function is represented with the what with the two terms of these terms pretty f it's more easy and so the upper one is divided by the two terms just like this one four divided by s plus two minus three plus divided by s plus three okay and so if we have this information and then <coughs> we can give the what the ft values in here i laplace inverse laplace can be applied on f based on s and t okay and so the ft is simplified again in here and after that the pretty ft can be written on the what on the output okay so just see that this is equal to the what this signal is equal to the what explanation minus three t values in here that's in the simplification form so the, in the pretty form we have explanation minus 2t because s plus 2 is given in here times 4 minus exponential minus 3 this is the second root of this system t times 3 okay so how we can draw this signal we can use the what the f plot function in here ft and 0 to 10 okay and so if i rerun this code and then we will have the what the r solution for the what for this value first of all just remember that the first values of the, these terms is equalized with what with the one okay and so we can iterate the whole algorithm based on what the app plot and so this app plot gives us what the time response of the r characters okay so in the second place we, we can use what some other more complex formula for example uh, this can be equals to what s plus six and so four over three and six for example this is our the code okay and so if i rerun this code and then we will have to what the solution of this one we cannot uh, split the terms of these values into what into the parts okay and then this code is applied on the what on this function okay and so we can split this code like this one but we will have again to what to our solution in the app plot function but for example if we are using the repeated roots for example the three times s5 and s plus 1 over 2 for example this more solvable form of the r equations okay and times s plus 2 okay this is uh, the code and so if i rerun this code to see that we can split the whole the terms in here just like this one one divided by s plus one plus two divided by s plus one over two and minus one divided by s plus two okay and so this is the solution of the x minus t is equals to one divided by s plus one minus x minus two t this is the r solution and the other form is that the two t times exponential minus t okay and so the our time response is equal to what is equal to this one in this case okay so we can easily apply the partial fraction form on the matlab program guys okay 
So, in the another example, we, we need to solve the other formulations in here. Just remember the RLS, RLC equation, RLC circuit. And so, we can analyze this circuit using the Laplace transform. But how we can do that? First of all, oh, we need to define the symbolic variables in here. Seems I S. I S. This is our current. And S and T. Okay? These are the formulation. T is a time, S is a Laplace transformation. And so I S is a dependent of the S. Okay? <clears throat> so circuit differential equation gives us V in S is equal to the what the I S times or not this one we will move forward with the what with the another form we input signal may be equals to what the one divided by S or this the unit step signal but in the what in Laplace transformation okay and so we need to give or define the impedance values of these terms for example in order to define the impedance we need to use the what the r may be equals to the one l may be equals to the one c may be equals to the one you, you can change the, these values in based on your application guys okay and so how we can define the impedance value <coughs> r is a constant value l time s <coughs> for the current must be given in here because <coughs> L is dependent or the proportional with what the di divided by dt, which is equal to what the S in Laplace transformation form. Okay, and also the capacitance is the what is the integral term of this form because IC is equal to d v out divided by dt times C is proportional with what the integral term of the this was and one divided by C times C, C times S. Okay. And so these are the impedance. <coughs> and so how we can calculate the what the IS value in here? Just like this one. We in divided by Z. Okay. This is what the R transfer function for calculation of the what the IS value. Okay. And so we can use the simplify operation in here, just like this one. Okay. And so the IS it's given in here but we don't need to use it and so if i run this code and then the r solution is equal to what is one divided by s square plus s plus one okay this is our form to what to implement this code in here but how we can obtain <coughs> this value in the time domain it is equal to what the i laplus must be calling in here is S based on T and I T can be given in here pretty I T okay so if I rerun this code and then this code is equalized to that one divided by S times S plus one divided by S plus one and so the R solution is equal to what S square T three square root divided by three times exponential minus T divided by two times sinus square root 3 times t divided by 2 times 2 okay this is solution of the what the this current values but how we can emulate to these signals just like previous one f plot can be called in here it and so 0 to 10 must be assigned in here okay <coughs> so if we run this code and then and the x label should be assigned with the water time t sec and y label should be assigned with the what the current value is equals to what the ampere okay <coughs> and also we need to give the what the grid on okay and so these are the time history dependent solution for the what for the currents okay but under the what under the this conditions the unit step signal for example if i choose to apply the five and so if we rerun this code and then this code 
creates what the, this kind of current, the time response of the current on the on the system dynamic equation. For example, if we choose the resistance equals to the 10, and so we can easily simulate the whole notation in here just like this one. Or if we assign the 0 0.1 values in here in the L value. And so we will have this kind of response, or we can assign what the capacitance values is, is equal to the true. And so we will have these equations. So how we can apply what the, another form of the, these equations? For example, if we choose the S square in here, and so this is equal to 5 times T in Laplace domain, in, in time domain. Okay, and so this increases the water current values of the these terms, just like this one. And so if we run this code, the one hundred values, and so this goes to the water capacitance is fully charged in here, based on the what based on the this signal formation. And after that, the capacitance is shut down in here. Okay, or we can apply the what the sinus signal in here, S square plus, for example, two over 2 square okay this equals to what the sinus signal and so if you rerun this code and then just see that um, oh, i'm sorry this must be decreased to the 10 values in here and so we will have the sinus signal in here like this one or <coughs> we can multiply the 2 over 2 values in here And so the amplitude is increased, or we can over two value. This is the cosine signal or the sinus signal. I don't remember in here. And so voila, we have to what to our time response related to what the it current value based on what the impedance value. This is also useful to what to analyze and solve the system based on what the MATLAB programming language because we can easily set the new values and we can test everything that we want okay that's all guys these are the MATLAB session codings <coughs> lesson